Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy 3, when I can stand water. We are now in the Tower of Wolin here. And we need to turn ourselves into a toad. But first we need to encounter three bestiary monsters. Specifically, I want the Fury Monster. Because he's a rare encounter here. So I'm going to be doing this over and over here until I get that monster. The other two monsters I don't care too much about. But I, I really want that Fury Monster. So let's see if we can get him. Okay, these guys are not the Fury Monster, but... Still need them for the best three, obviously. Whoa, 100. What the fuck? Yeah, some monsters can silence you, but we don't have to worry about being silenced since we have the uh, item staff. So we have Pugmans here. I'll use a fire staff with Lunith. I'll do the same thing with Ark. With Rafael, we'll use an ice staff. And with Ingus, we'll just steal because we're gonna kill it. Stole potion, which I really need to use right now. Anyways, let's go in auto battle to make this faster. Oh, he got that- Why is everybody picking on Ark for What the fuck? Calm down, guys. Leave Ark alone. Holy fuck. Anyway, Luna's level has increased. Alright, we're gonna potion up Ark. Everybody else is good. I wonder why. I'm gonna stick right around here because I might have to go back and heal myself depending on if I have to use lots of cure spell or not. Actually, maybe not. I should be fine. Because I don't plan on really using any level 1 magic. Anyways, here's a new enemy. This is Petite Mage. Still not the Fury Monster though. Obviously, because like I said, it's gonna be a rare find. Gold Needle we stole from it. Should be able to take care of these guys with ease though. Maybe I'll make my way up. If I get too low magic, if I realize I'm gonna get too low magic, then I'll just come back here. That's all. I think I should be fine. There's no items here, so don't worry about that. We actually have to go right in there to the right side. And I wanna grind over here first to try and find Fury Monster. Okay, not bad. Stole a potion. Awesome. We'll just keep doing- oh my god. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Hopefully, hopefully we can find that Fury monster without much of a problem. Yeah, I think it's gonna take me a long time to find him. Come on. Alright, so don't forget to keep your party healthy here if you guys get too weak. I just used Potion on Unith and I'm gonna use all party members now. There we go. Should be good there. And I'm still trying to find Fury, so I'll start my walkthrough up soon and I'll give you guys an update on my character and job level. Okay, so I haven't found Fury yet, but we did get a new encounter in here, which I'm surprised. I didn't think they came until later. But we got Far Darig. So I'm just going to show this for the uh, walkthrough, obviously, since it's a new bestiary monster. Dead. And dead. Eh, same deal. Alright, make sure you get those guys. You'll probably encounter them later on in the other floor. Oh, I found it! Okay. Here it is, the Fury Monster. Awesome. I'll show you where I found it. Well, I'm still in the same level. Let's see what we can do here. Can we steal anything good from it? Hopefully my thief gets yes, I just want to see what I can steal. Potion, okay, whatever. Fire staff, and dead. Alrighty, now we can actually proceed. So I found it right here. If you go up a little bit, this is where I was before when I showed you guys that we have to go to the right side. And okay guys, so remember that toad spell we learned last episode? Go to learn for Rafia, the red mage. And she can use arrow, mini, and toad now. So what we're gonna do here is use toad and all party members. And here we go. It seems like we travel faster with toad, which is... Yeah, but we don't wanna... <laughs> We don't want to be toted though. Once we access the new area of Toad, go to Rufia's Toad again, use all party members, and remove the curse. There we go. Now we're in the next level. I welcome you to the Tower of Owen and your doom. Okay. Nice. We'll see about that, buddy. So this is the next level here. And we've actually encountered every monster here. 
in the last floor, so we don't have to worry about these guys. Once we make it to floor 5 to 10 though, there'll be new monsters again. Petite mage. Okay, I'll kill him. Let's get him. Oops, I just forgot to put him on the seal. Oh god, that's bad. They're not set up right now. Hit a critical, come on! Ah. Alright, fire staff, fire staff, ice staff, and steel. There we go. It might be too late though. The other guys might be set up for a melee still. I think they need to initiate the attack first for it to be auto programmed. I could be wrong. I'm gonna try anyway. Again. Um, this way. Right? No, there's no secret here. Okay. Still up here. Alright, you can see a treasure chest right there. Here we go again. <laughs> Let's get that treasure chest, I think it's a spark dagger. So, we'll make our thief even stronger now. This will increase his attack power to 46 with two spark daggers now. Awesome. Oh, we got a random encounter. Oh, we have a new enemy! There we go, we got him early actually. These are Oghiskes. I think we got him early, and this is floor fly- I can't remember what floor this is, to be honest. Anyway, that's auto attack. That means we're only missing one more enemy now, guys. So the enemy we were missing is a blood bat. And oh, our HP and everything is still good. So yeah, we have to try and find a blood bat at some point before we fight the boss to get it into our best tree here. Okay, so there is a secret here. Oh, we can't access the secret yet until we go this way for a little event. You will never find your way through this place. <laughs> oh my god, what a game. Anyways, now we can access it. Weird, eh? I don't know why we have to go through the event for that to happen, but it is what it is, I guess. Skip those stairs for a sec, because we have to get that treasure chest. Oh, same monster. Okay, we'll deal with him. Oh, we got Buddy here. Steel. Potion. Fire Staff. And fire staff. Ice staff. Nice. Holy cow, everybody gained something. Okay. Echo herbs. Remove silence. Yeah, we don't need to remove silence anyway right now. Not until the boss fight anyway. That's when we'll remove it. Remember to make sure that everybody is set up with one Fire Up, Blizzard Up, or Thunder Up spell. Doesn't matter which, just as long as they're set up with it. Every character, by the way, that does a mage. I'm just giving you guys a friendly reminder at this point. Okay, let's go up to the next level. And I think we want to go right first. Yep. So this is Bomb Fragment. And Echo Herbs. And that, I think that's all the items. Let's take care of these guys. We still haven't got that stupid bat. We'll have to get him at some point. Before we start the boss fight, like I said. Okay. The only thing I care about is getting that Fury Monster, because he's the rarest encounter. Those bats aren't really that rare, I just, I'm not sure why we haven't got it yet. Let's go down here, and yeah, I think we have all the items. Okay, next floor. Should find another item here. To the left, was it? No, I think it was to the right. 
There's the bat. Well, at least we got the bat encounter. So here's the enemy. Blood bat. Okay, let's finish these guys off. We stole from the bat potion. Nice. So our best three for this area is fully complete now. That's all the monsters. Um, oh wait, hold on, what the hell am I doing? Cross the bridge. There it is. Sonic Knuckles, that's a monk weapon. Actually, we have, I think we have enough good weapons now to start a monk class, but I want to keep a thief. I might make Luneth a monk, actually. At uh, some point, I do need to get that monk class up. Okay, we should be good to go across here now, because that's the only weapon, or the only item here. I mean, hold on. Who's poisoned? Antidote? Yeah, there we go. We'll clear that really quick. And go down here. Oh, encounter. Okay, those poison bats are showing up a lot now. Still potion from it. Let's go down. Oh wait. Wait, wrong way. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, someone got poisoned again? Oh yeah, I think I went the wrong way, so I think I have to go this way. Right? I got confused. No wait, it's this way. Hold on. I took the wrong side, that's why. Yeah, I'm supposed to go the other side. I went down the wrong path. Anyways, we'll kill these guys really quick. This guy's kind of useless. He doesn't even hit much damage. He just kind of just jumps in and does nothing. Well, Ingus is our restock for potions, apparently. He's just been collecting lots of them. Yeah, here's the area. Oh wait, right side first actually. Grab this chest. Salamence sword, we'll do- oh actually let's put that on now. So we'll put the Salamence sword on back when I turn Lunith back into a warrior. Flame mail, we got two of them now. Remember, absorbs 50% ice damage. Plus the extra defenses, which is nice. And Zeus's wrath, which does lightning damage. I think we're at the final part. Yeah, I think this is the final part, so before I go too far ahead, let me use some potions here. Okay, I think we're good for that. Let's resort this as well, so we can find these echo herbs easier. Alright, use one for Art, use one for Ingus. Oh wait, I didn't- Oh, I shouldn't have used one for Ingus, that was a waste. That's okay. So we're good now. Let's deal with this. Medusa will destroy this town in the name of our lord Zombie and plunge these lands into eternal darkness. <laughs> you cannot stop me. Prepare to die. Okay, so with Luna here, we'll cuss. Oh, Luna doesn't have enough level 3 black magic to cast that. Oh, you know why? I forgot that I turned him. Oh shit, I forgot to heal his MP, that's why. Shit. Man, I screwed myself over again. Remember that tip I've been giving you guys about turning physical into a magic caster? Reduces your MP to zero? Yep, I didn't even apply that tip to myself because I forgot. I wasn't paying attention. So instead, I am going to use him to cast Arctic Wind. Deals intense ice damage. This would be a Blizzard type damage. We'll use Arc for a Blizzard. It doesn't even matter what we cast, because it has no elemental defense for weakness. And we have Rafia to cast Fyra. And Ingus can steal high potions from it, or attack it. I am just going to attack it. Actually, let me steal. I'll steal. I don't really care. I'll get the magic casters to finish this thing off. Although, 
Luneth is kind of fucked, but I can just use items instead, I guess. That's all I can do. There's 467 damage. Oh, Luneth is silenced again, but it's kind of pointless anyway. Watch. 965 is that. Arctic Wind. And 496. Okay, so this boss is almost dead. It has 3000 HP, I believe. I'm gonna use Zeus's Wrath on it. Another Blizzard, another Fire, and a Steel. Let's see how that does. Alright, now I'm gonna turn my webcam off. This thing's gonna die shortly. Still high potion. And it actually might be dead right here. No, one more. One more attack. Oh, wow! 247. Here's Zeus's Wrath. There we go. Does that do it? 355? Nice. Did more than I thought it would. I thought it was only going to do like around the hundreds. 2600 gil, 420 exp. Good job level has increased. Refia level has increased. Ingus has increased. Awesome. Dash, don't get too close. The fire, I think it's going to blow up. I finally remember everything. I'm the guardian of this tower, and an ancient as you call us. I was asleep for a very long time. I was supposed to awaken when this tower is in danger. I guess I slept a bit too long. It took me forever to remember my task. The damage is extensive, but it's not too late. At this rate, the floating continent will be flung away from the sun. The negative effects on its inhabitants are unimaginable. I'll go inside and try to stabilize the tower. I guess this is goodbye. I thank you for everything you've done for me. And it was fun being with you guys. Dash, no, you're going to die if you go in there. This is my destiny. Go to the Dwarves Island. That is where you'll find the power of fire. I won't forget you. Goodbye. Dash! The Enterprise, did Dash send us here? Look, the maelstrom's weakening, we can get out. We are in Desh's depth. We must go onwards to Dwarves Island. Desh, please be safe. Onwards to the Dwarf Island we go. Alright, so actually let's save our game first. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sail right up from here. Hopefully I don't get... This is where the Whirlpool used to be. It's gone now. And there should be another town that we can go to. Actually, I'm going to change Luneth back to a warrior first. Make sure I remember to form him back to the front row. We got the Salaman sword for him, and... And the Viking Axe. Myth Helm. Flame Mail. And Mithril Gloves. Okay, so now let me see the map here. Here's where I am on the map, that green sailboat. I'm going to keep going east from it. And we're just going to keep falling east. Should be a place that we can go to. A new place before we head to the main mission. Oh, we got a new encounter, guys. We gotta do this. Mermaid. And a seahorse. Alright, remember what I was telling you guys? How there's missable enemies? So we have more missable enemies now. I wanted to do this last episode. But since they got in our way, we're just gonna finish them off really quick here. Oh, I should be using thunder. We got a potion. Oh, no. I forgot I'm using powerful magic. Okay, I gotta reset my auto. Eh, whatever. But yeah, we're gonna be getting the rest of these inner sea monsters after. Okay, so let me go this way this time. Oh, I think it's across. 
And more and more maze encountered. Hold on. Let me go advance, fire stuff, ice stuff, and a let's go steal. And I'm just in the auto battle for faster speed. Oh, they're not doing much damage here. They're advanced. What? Damn. Okay, this will finish them off then. Ark is really strong with his magic power. Unless these mermaids are weak to fighter, which I don't think they are. Let's go down here. Okay, we found a new encounter. These are the Annettes. Let's go auto battle here. There we go. Antarctic Wind Drop, nice. So we're just missing one monster here, which is a Sea Serpent. Okay, so I found the Sea Serpent though. Here it is. This is actually a rare encounter, guys. I didn't even get to see if I still- what I still- There we go, he's dead. I actually tried to get off. The island and I encountered him. So you know what, I actually encountered all the missables here. Okay, so looking at the map here, Geisel is all the way southeast. But I'm gonna do that next episode, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.